everyone. My name is Daniel, and I'm just a casual racer. And today I got a real treat for you, and that is Prinzen Park by Sergio Laura over at F3 Classic Tracks. He's posted this completely for free on Race Department, so check out the link in the video description. But this is an incredible track mod. We've got a car weaving here at the start, go over the tram tracks there. But just the details that Sergio has put into this project. You'll see some of the buildings on the side here. Just incredible. I mean, it is so hard to get good details on buildings and city tracks because, you know, you got you can do grass FX and tree FX to really make the foliage on a lot of tracks look amazing, but often buildings can suffer, and Search has just done a fantastic job. In fact, so good, I would have to say this is probably the best track that he's ever done to date. I've just been extremely impressed by it. been spending probably too much time driving this thing today, for sure. Um, I mean, further example, look at this, you've got some patches of asphalt here, and that communicates itself to the road texture, and you'll feel that in the force feedback as you drive, and then you're going to see also, like, in other parts of the track, there's cobblestones, and, you know, as I mentioned, there's the tram tracks, you'll feel that, and there's another big section up in kind of the town square area, and then you have, you know, uh, the different grip levels on each unique surface as well. So just really well done as I try to slow it down here for this corner. It's caught me down a couple times today during my racing. I chose to drive some of these 1950s Grand Prix cars around here, but that's definitely a uh, real challenge. I mean, look at these flowers here on the left. Just looks amazing. Struggle to get it down, but I get it down to speed up the inside here, moving up some places. This building on the left looks fantastic. Again, one of the better looking ones, I think. We're about to head onto the cobblestones here. But, yeah, there's a long uh, version of the circuit, which is what we're driving, and includes this town square section. And there's also a shorter version, which I don't prefer nearly as much, but I also love having the option. Bounce over the uh, tram tracks here. I want to stay off of them. I've seen the AI do some crazy things bouncing. Maybe Sergio should take a look at some of the road texture on the tram tracks there. Yeah, overall, this is just... I mean, the church here, another detail, that would have taken alone, would have taken probably a day or two of uh, sculpting, you know, and 3D modeling and then texturing. Come around to complete lap one. This amazing circuit, having so much fun driving. Uh, I'm driving Historic Sim Studios um, R uh, Lotus 16 that we've developed. Um, I love throwing this thing around the track. Got some Maseratis, both the 6 and 12 cylinder that it comes in a set of Corsa. And it's just had a blast. I mean, you could go, like I mentioned, with some Formula Juniors, which would pair amazingly at this track. But one thing that really, I think, you know, makes it so challenging to throw something like a 1950s Grand Prix car. And it fits well. Like, it's a great track for that. Honestly, I could even see, you know, some smaller 1960s sports cars or the like around the circuit being awesome. And I think I'll see that. Like, league racing, for example, I'm sure this track is going to be so popular for league racing, right? We got, you know, it's free, it's extremely detailed. There's two different layouts, right? Probably this one will be the one that gets used most of the time, but just generally, right? This is a really good historic track for racing. I mean, we're gonna be using it in our community online events. And we got a, our second server runs every day. And so I'm sure like either next week or the week after we'll be putting this directly on the rotation, probably with this exact set of cars. So that'll be a lot of fun for those of you who love the Maserati or the Lotus, you know, of ours, and just throwing it around this track is going to be awesome. Can't wait to jump out there, perhaps, with some of you. You know, we're really, at Story Sim Studios, we're really pushing the online side of things lately. And, uh, you know, getting more servers, more events, weekly events, daily server up, you know. We're going to have some big events coming up soon, so check that out. I mean, we got, right now, up until the end of the year, you can join in our driver tier, and you're going to get grandfathered in with full access to everything moving forward but we're kind of consolidating to one tier where everyone gets access to everything, and it's just really exciting. Well, lots of events and stuff to come next year in 2024. Come around here, we're in fourth. Maybe we got a podium here. Third place ahead of us as we worked our way through the field quite easily. Got the AI on um, 90 to 88 to 90, and then the aggressiveness is 80 to 100. So that's kind of the randomness, so not super, super fast, but also, you know, this track, I found the AI is quite fast and quite good at, and I don't, uh, 
didn't want to get dusted in this race. I think I got the last race I posted, I got finished pretty mid-pack. So I thought I'd challenge, try to put one right at a chance, maybe challenge for the win or at least a podium. Let's see what we can do this lap. A um, little bit about the circuit. This Prenzen Park was around for three years. 1948 to 1951, primarily hosted uh, motorcycle racing, uh, but also some, you know, smaller uh, other race events as well. So we almost go into the hay bales there. I mean, a little too deep. Not sure that we might have lost third there at that corner. We'll see what I can make up. But yeah, just, I mean, really awesome circuit to drive at, in my opinion. Um, I would say this is definitely not one, you know, coming out of World War II, right? They were looking to race anywhere, but it's the same thing. This circuit, safety standards would have stayed this way up and through the mid to late 60s, you know, 1967, 1968. So really, any era car up to that point, this track would fit quite well. Obviously, within the bounds of it being a very technical street circuit, which I think is really cool, because you get a lot of really high-speed circuits kind of in this time, fast, big circuits. Um, and this is one that really, I think... Great. It's kind of like the Napoli circuit we've released, although I will say I prefer this track a whole lot more over that circuit. No fault to the creator, but just some of the additional texturing on the buildings stand that apart to me, or at least the texture quality, the realism of the buildings, but also to just the layout of this track. Um, I tend to prefer the different road surfaces really seems to stand out to me. The tram tracks. I don't know. There's just something about this that I find so immersive. I mean, like I said, this track is up there in my all-time list. And uh, Check it out. Download it. I mean, this is one that everyone should add to their collection. It's free. It's, I mean, it's a no-brainer. So Excited to hopefully race against some of you in the ne either the next week or the week after. Um, but, yeah, this one. Check out the links in the video description. This is a great one. So fourth place finish. I'll take it. Would have liked the podium, but you just pulled away from me there in the final stint. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Most of all, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week.